Sakafet YouTube and let us make the most delicious pot of curry chicken. Hello my darlings, we're getting straight down to business with this beautiful curry chicken. This is actually an updated recipe. I have one from about a year and a half ago and I thought it was just long overdue for an updated recipe, okay? So as you can see here, I have some chicken thighs and chicken backs that I chopped up into smaller pieces. I have washed it and cleaned it with lemon juice, of course. And to season it, I'm going to go in with a little bit of olive oil as this will help for the seasonings to stick. I'm going in with my sea salt and black pepper. Make sure to put enough to your own preference. I'm going with some all-purpose seasoning as well. If you don't have that, you can always just use seasoning cubes, whatever you have. I also put in my mixed herbs and over here I have some better pack curry powder and some Barron's curry powder as well as my fresh seasoning, spring onions, regular onions, I have scotch bonnet thyme, some peppers and some garlic of course. I'm just adding it to my chicken, okay? So after I'm putting all of my fresh seasonings, because guys you know this, fresh is best, I'm now going to go in with my curry powder. Now most times I see people tend to burn the curry or they, you know, they leave out the curry from adding it to the chicken while it's raw because they're afraid of running stomachs and all that stuff but listen guys this takes about 45 minutes to cook and i've never had an issue before i sometimes burn the curry but to me it's not a must okay so now i'm covering this with some clear up because we're gonna marinate for about an hour and this is my beautiful dutch pot that i'm using i'm using this pot it's from tesco not sponsored i actually got it sometime last year my hubby got me a set of the two and i'm very happy with them i think it cost me about 45 pounds yes so the two of them came to 90 pounds but it's very good it's really sturdy look at me promoting tesco pots and this ain't sponsored <laughs> but yes darlings i added some oil to the pot and i'm just adding in my chicken to the pot as soon as the oil got hot okay i'm just gonna add some water to the bowl that we season the curry chicken in and set it to one side this is about two cups of water and i'm just gonna cover up the pot because i want it to spring up its own juices before i add in my water So this is me checking on my chicken about five minutes after I covered it up and guys as you can see it did spring up its own juices but I'm just gonna mix it up okay because I just wanted to seal in that color and just ensure the curry is nicely cooked even though it is still gonna cook away for another 40 minutes okay. Once everything was nicely mixed in, this is where I go in with my liquid from the bowl that we seasoned the curry chicken in. I didn't add any more curry powder to this. This is literally leftover seasonings in the tray. So in case it's looking a little bit yellow, that is the reason why, okay? I'm also just gonna pop in my scotch bonnet peppers as well, ensuring not to let these burst. My boys don't like spice at all, but I don't really mind a little something. But yes, my loves, it started simmering and I just wanted to show you how it's looking. I put the heat on sort of like a low to medium because we're not gonna be adding any more liquid to this. So you don't want it to dry up too much, okay? Now, I know this is just some extra little clips, but because I was serving this up with some roti, I thought, let me just, you know, show you me making one or two of them while the chicken was stewing, 
stewing see i'm obsessed with stew you know um while the chicken was currying in that pot i was working on some roti okay now i do have a recipe for this bus up shot roti already if you want you can just search terry bus up shot roti and it will come up today i don't think i'm gonna be clapping these over my stove i think i'm just gonna be keeping it whole just because that's how i want it today So once my roti was nicely cooked, my curry chicken was also cooked because I sort of cooked them in a way that both of them will sort of cook together. That way nothing gets cold and we can serve this straight away. I actually garnished it with some fresh parsley and this was the finished pot. Now I didn't make it with too much gravy and I didn't actually add any potatoes to this because I didn't really feel like having potatoes in my curry chicken today. You can definitely add some if you want, okay? On to the fun part. I am just serving up the hubby a nice plate because for some reason I always serve up the hubby first. Can you imagine I'm here working so hard and i'm serving the hubby first man we caribbean women are something else eh so <laughs> yes darlings i'm just giving him a few pieces of chicken and some gravy as well and listen this is everything the gravy is nice and thick you can actually choose to serve this with some rice if you prefer but some roti on this beautiful friday evening is just perfect so i really hope you enjoy this easy curry chicken recipe feel free to let me know how you make your curry chicken do you burn the curry do you add potatoes and carrots guys i'll be in the comments reading all of your responses but anyways it has been a pleasure having you here in my kitchen and i'll see you again in my next one thank you so much for watching Bye bye